Welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Nigel. As y'all can already tell by that title, today we're gonna be doing some hygiene shopping. First at Walmart and then we're gonna be going to the Miami Mall and doing some shopping there because I really wanna go to Sephora and get this perfume that I've been seeing. Uh, not a perfume, perfume, I'm gonna get that. But I ain't finna do so much talking. We finna just go in here and do some little shopping shopping. Hopefully it's not too packed where I can actually film, but yeah. What you getting? The first thing I'm gonna be getting, I'm gonna get these always penny liners. They come with 120. I don't know if y'all can hear me in here because it's so freaking loud. Yeah, I love these penny liners. They're cheap and then on top of that, they work just as good. So I always get them. I really don't wanna buy tampons. Why are tampons just so expensive? My period is only like five days, so I feel like I can just get this one. It's $8. This is a cheaper brand, but they work just as good. Like they're fine. And then I like how they're so compact. So I can just put these in my purse or in my wallet and I'm good. So I'm gonna get these. Okay, I also wanna try these organic tampons. These are light and regular. I heard some people talk about these. They say that you have to be careful with these. You can't use these with like a heavy leak because they'll like bleed through or whatever. But I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see how they work. The next thing, I think I'm gonna grab these. I used these before and they're good. But I don't know if I, if I wanna get these. I picked up these, but I'm gonna put them back. I'm not gonna get them. These are probiotics with prebiotics and cranberry. They work really good. Like you struggle with your odor down there and stuff. They're really good for that. I don't need them. I feel like my body, like my body just got used to me not using them, so I don't want to use them again. And then I stop, and then I have to wing my body off again. So I'm just not gonna pick them up, but they're definitely good. But I am gonna pick up some Summer's Eve. I know there's a lot of negative connotation on that, but I like it. I use it. It doesn't give me any type of yeast infections or nothing. So I'm gonna keep using them. My hair look a mess. Yeah, this one smells good, but I don't need it. Definitely need to get a sugar scrub, but they literally only have the rose and the watermelon. So I hate the watermelon, so I guess I'm gonna be getting this. Uh, tell me why I was just over in the oral hygiene section trying to get some toothpaste and stuff like that. Tell me why I'm standing there and one man comes up to me. I'm like, okay, whatever. He probably just looking for some stuff. So then two more men come up over there and it's like me standing in one circle. And then, oh, here's it. <laughs> yeah, so it's like me standing in one circle and then three dudes like, surrounding me and stuff like that like it just felt weird it was like, like closing in around me and stuff like that and then one dude he reaches over to grab something and i'm just like and the way my face be i can't control my face so i'm just like i like grab something off the shelf and i just hurried up and started walking off and he was like oh are you are you good what you mean am i good y'all am i being extra or was that just weird because that was weird to me i gotta get out of here I gotta get out of here Okay, this angle looks better. I probably shouldn't have came in here with this this uh tiny dress on because the, the booty is is poking. I ain't put my shorts on like I intended to. That's probably why they was surrounding me. I, I need to start keeping that keeping that thing on me. For real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some uh you ever use dry shampoo? Oh. Oh yeah. The sample ones they be giving on this. What? <laughs> the sample one. Yeah. I'm gonna get some raw shampoo. If y'all not using this, y'all need to. Since when did Walmart start carrying lace blonde? 
lace bond. I'm talking about lace blonde. Oh, and they have this. This the one everybody be buying, or is it yeah, the black one? Even. Oh, Walmart trying to upgrade. That's crazy. But I was gonna get it because it do work good. But oh, I'm not supporting that. Right. All right, y'all. I was gonna get this uh, Dr. Bronner's Castile soap until I was like watching YouTube videos of like hygiene stuff. And I looked in the comments and somebody commented on there about how they have like some weird anti-Christianity or some like some type of stuff on the thing. And like if you look at the bottle, it does have like a bunch of weird like writing and stuff on it, which is weird for like a hygiene product. And like if you read it, yeah, like it, it's some weird stuff on here. So I'm not going to buy it because I don't know where my money going or what is support i'm gonna look into it some more i'm not gonna get it which sucks because i do like this product but i'm just not about to be supporting no demonic stuff like i'll pass let me go ahead and um put that back but i do need some it's not on this aisle it's on the next aisle some noxema come on follow me perfect this This would be so cute if they weren't shaped like that. Oh, they know my, my uh, nail, but these would be so cute if they weren't shaped like that. Cute. They be like upgrading press stones and stuff. But it's like a, oh, day. it's so much. Just try it. Am I, I really this short? And I don't want to spoil it. Let me just get this a little one. Ow. Oh, this smells like so sick. Uh, put your stuff in the back seat. So where are you going to put yours? Should I put my stuff in the back seat? And you're stuck in the house? No, I mean, I just have, I'm getting off just, first, so put mine on this seat. Oh, God, it's so freaking hot. I got five of these. getting this this smells so freaking good is this the match one i think so what y'all think about this should i get this I don't know. maybe this is a no for me at our third location we just came to the second mall because we couldn't find nothing over there and the thing that i wanted in sephora they did not have so i'm gonna have to order that i didn't want to order it because i wanted it like right now but i'm gonna have to there's the sun is hitting like i'm looking glowy or oily now nah, not no more because the sun is like, oh there it go I did not know Dr. Bronner's had toupees. That's interesting. Like, you can really find anything at Ross. Me and five below, y'all. And look at these gummies. <gasps> I might have to get me some. They got hot dogs. They got some bacon. What else they got? They got a Lunchable. Some noodles. Four. I got me a Lunchable, a Lunchable gummy. I'm about to apply this and see what it's here. Okay. okay. All right, it come with the little, this little uh, pasta sauce here. How you open it? Don't waste my stuff. You gonna eat this, you better eat all of it. <laughs> this is what the pizza look like. It's about to spill here. Oh no. You can't I put it over the thing. Like, please eat the pizza. <laughs> Here, eat the pizza. 
bro. How? How? My cheese and my pepperoni. I'm not exactly sure what made me think I was going to be able to film in Walmart, but for some reason I did. That Walmart be packed to the max all the time. Like there's literally not a time you can go in that store and it's not packed. Ridiculous because this is already of course a college area and then you have a bunch of other people that just navigate to that Walmart I guess. These are all my bags. Everything that I picked up. I'm not showing the items in any particular order, just whatever I pick out the bag. I'm not even gonna lie, it's been a couple of days since I went shopping. The only reason I didn't film everything that I got as soon as I got home was because as soon as I got home, I had to leave again because I went over to my homegirl house to go cook and we was like making TikToks and stuff like that. Oh, follow me on TikTok if you haven't already. But yeah, we went over there making TikToks and stuff and we was drinking. So by the time I got back, it was just too much. And then I had a bunch of stuff going on the next day too. So I really couldn't get to it. But now we're here. No need to worry. We're here now. The first thing that I got is some paper towels. And I love these little 58 cent paper towels. Like that is really my go-to. Um, I use these when I get out the shower to pat my downstairs area dry. I don't want to go over it with the towel because if you don't know towels hold bacteria, so I just pat, pat, pat. And I use those on my face, but I also got, hold on. I ended up picking up some facial, facial tissue. Yeah, as y'all can see, a lot of my stuff be great value because I'm not going to pay top dollar for an item I can get for cheaper just because of the brand. Be for real not. The next item that I got is some Ole lotion y'all i hereby swear by this lotion i swear by this lotion this will have your skin so smooth and so moisturized i don't know if it's because of the hyaluronic acid or just whatever but this is an amazing product i love this product it's a little bit on the pricey side this is like ten dollars i don't really know why i started using this i think i just saw this in walmart one time and i just picked it up and i've been buying it ever since it's very light but moisturizing so i put this on before i go to bed because i don't like to feel heavy when i'm going to sleep and i don't want to roll around in my covers with all that oil and lotion and stuff but this is a really good alternative also try in shower lotions those work really good too if when you don't want to feel heavy and sticky and stuff then I got some Dove Dry Shampoo. I used to think this was for white people and white people only, but no, I be using this because when I be having like my braids and my wigs and stuff in, I go to the gym while I'm just like sweating because Miami is so hot. Like this Miami weather ain't nothing to play with. So I be getting that like nasty, sweaty scalp smell. So I don't want that. Like there's no point of me putting on layers and layers of perfume just for my scalp to overpower. Like y'all already know, smelly odors are gonna overpower anything. So just to be safe, I started getting the Dove of dry shampoo and this one is the detox and purify and i just spray it all over moisturize it into my um scalp and stuff and then it be smelling good so and then speaking of i also picked up this jamaican mango and lime dry wash and then the matching braid refresher i've never seen this before this is my first time seeing this in walmart so i decided let me try it because it looks like it's gonna work for black hair especially and then it has a lot of stuff in it it's supposed to moisture add shine promotes growth its main target removes dirt and grime conditions and it's gentle so i actually used this the other day and it was pretty good to me like it got rid of the odor and stuff it felt good it felt moisturizing like i was actually taking care of my scalp i just like lift the back of my wig up and just went ahead and massage that in there so yeah, I definitely will be repurchasing that. And then I went ahead and picked up some spray deodorant, um, the black and white Pure Rain. And I actually picked up the matching deodorant. Yeah, I picked up the matching deodorant. Um, I like to have the dry spray. I don't wear this by itself unless I'm like going to bed and stuff just so I can have deodorant under my arms and it not be heavy. Cause I don't like going to bed with deodorant on either, but it be so hot in these rooms that I start sweating and like my underarms start getting musky and stuff. So I be needing to put on something. So this is really good for that. And then just this smells. Oh, it really smells 
amazing like i love how this smells it's a really strong scent and i feel like it projects like you're really gonna smell it i be smelling myself like when i be moving my arms and stuff i be smelling it oh speaking of i need to put some on right now because i forgot the next thing i went ahead and picked up is some summer's eve neutralizing odor spray this is really good when you're on the go and you just need to touch up and stuff i don't spray it directly on my downstairs area i like have my panties on and then most of the time i'm wearing like a panty liner so i just spray this and then i spray it in my pants and then you're good to go now this is not gonna um substitute for a bath you still need to take a bath with this but just when you're out and you just need to freshen up and stuff then i went ahead and got the tree hut shea sugar scrub in moroccan rose they didn't really have a lot of different scents so mm. i just went ahead and picked up this it was between this or like the watermelon and i don't want to smell like nasty watermelon candy and then that one has like little black seeds in it too so it was just a mess in the shower so i know like i'm good on that this one smells really good it smells really fresh it's not really like a heavy old lady rose type of scent it's just like a light clean scent and i love using tree hut sugar scrubs because they're very abrasive if that's the right word they're very abrasive i love this this is really gonna get my skin nice and soft i was out of this for a while but i'm gonna start by using this consistently three times a week at least and then i picked up some shower caps these are like a dollar as y'all can see i already opened the pack and stuff because i just I needed it. I also opened this as well. Most of these next few items I've opened already. I told you it's been a couple of days since I've been on camera. So yeah, I really needed these items and I actually used these items. So I went ahead and got some Always Penny Liners, the 120 pack. I forgot how much this was. I think it was like $6 or whatever. But this actually lasts you a long time. I'm pretty sure it's cheaper on Amazon. But just because I was already in Walmart, I just went ahead and grabbed it. I like these. They don't irritate me. If you have heavy discharge. These are good to use. Or if you're going to be out all day, I like to use these too. So that way I can just like change them. And if I don't have an extra pair of underwear with me, then I'll just like change my penny liners. And then I'm good to go again. Oh. Also picked up this anti-blemish pads by Noxzema. I used to love the face wash to this, but then it stopped working for me. Like it wasn't clearing my acne as much as it should. So I ended up changing to the Panoxyl, but I still love these little wipes. I only, only, only use these. I don't like to change my skin's care routine too much because I do have sensitive skin. So I don't want to try too much and then my skin start messing up. So I like these. They really get the extra oil and dirt. And this was like $5, I want to say. I think so but yeah those are really good to use. and then I just picked up some aloe vera liquid hand soap and I also got some TheraBreath healthy gums oral rinse I really like this one it's the clean mint the dark blue kind I really like this one because it smells really nice it tastes really good it makes your breath smell really fresh and this is really good like it specializes in like tartar buildup inside plaque like I only get this one I tried like the I think it was like the forest kind and I hate that kind it literally smells like a forest like it smells like it should be an in-home room spray or something like that and then these are also open but I picked up some dental floss my dentist recommended I get these and I use these over the string and stuff like that just because it's easier to get in there and clean a lot of it and it, it comes with a lot so I ended up picking up a big pack of the Dow bar soap this is the only bar soap that I really like it's the antibacterial gold bar I know this has been going viral on TikTok lately or whatever I've been using this way before then I'm gonna keep using it because I really like it. it's the only soap that i use because i use a lot of deodorant so whenever i need to wash that stuff off this is the only soap that like really gets it off without me having to wash it multiple multiple times like i'll go and i'll wash my arms like twice but i really don't need to because it comes off in like one wash so i love this they didn't have the medium pack it was either the smaller pack or the big pack so i just went ahead and grabbed the big pack and then I picked up some You Buy Kotex tampons, the little compact ones in regular and super. Yeah, and then this is the 30 pack. This brand is so much cheaper. I love how it's more compact so I can just put everything in my purse or I can even fit it in my wallet and stuff. So when I'm on the go, I don't have to worry about walking out with this huge stick or whatever. So yeah, I really like these. They haven't given me any issues like these. I was going to try the organic tampons, but when I started adding my stuff up and I was looking at my price, I was like, you know what? I'll try that next time. Let me just go ahead and just get this one box because y'all know tampons and feminine hygiene products are so expensive for no freaking reason. Like there's no reason for these products to be that expensive. Knowing that 
we actually have to use these items which that's probably why it's so expensive because they know like we're gonna have to buy these items regardless of the price so that's messed up that is so messed up like and then the next thing i got i opened these as well but these are disposable tongue scrapers i got these from Publix. they literally only sell these disposable tongue scrapers in Publix or target which is crazy to me like why doesn't walmart sell disposable tongue scrapers so yeah i really like these if you struggle with bad breath try these like it's probably because you have a bunch of bacteria built up on your tongue because when you're just brushing those two brushes aren't really gonna get that clean so i would recommend using these i really like these and then it comes with like 32 in them so you have like a a bottle mark supply and then you could just throw them away right after using them instead of trying to rinse them out and then using it again so yeah I ended up going to CVS, but I just got one item from CVS. I picked up the Pan Oxo Acne Foam and Wash 10% Benzoyl Peroxide Maximum Strength. I was on a hunt for a really good facial cleanser that was going to help clear my acne because I have stubborn acne and my skin breaks out so easily. And I tried a bunch of different ones because like I said, the Noxzema facial wash that I had been using, it stopped working. So I was trying to a whole bunch of different ones. They weren't really working or they would work for a little bit and then my skin would just have a bad reaction to it. So I ended up picking up this. They have this in the 4% and the 10% Benzoyl Peroxide. I picked up the 10% but you're supposed to start with the four percent i didn't do that because i already know my acne is really bad my face is really sensitive i break out really bad so i needed like a really strong product so i picked up this and i've been in love ever since like when i use this consistently i don't really have breakouts when i use this consistently and then i'm washing my bed sheets and stuff like that i'm good i use this morning and night and it literally clears up my acne breakouts in like a day or two so like if i slack and i break out i just Go back to using this and I'm good. So if you're someone that struggles with stubborn acne, just go ahead and try this. Like, pick it up. It's not going to hurt. Like, if you're already struggling, why not? I already have one of these that's, like, pretty full. But I only picked this up because I have a CVS subscription where I spend $5 every month. And they give me basically the $5 back plus 5 more. So I have $10 to spend at CVS every month. And that's around how long these last me, like, using it morning and night. And I also use these under my underarms as well so by the time my subscription renews i've been eating another one so i ended up just going ahead and picking this up anyways i ended up going to sephora because we went to the mall afterwards but i picked up the Charosa 68 i don't know if i'm saying that right but i picked that up it smells so so good but i was like do i really want to spend 20 dollars on a body spray um i didn't end up getting it but now that i'm thinking about it yes i do want to spend 20 dollars on a body spray because that body spray smelled really good so i'm gonna end up going back and i'm gonna get the body spray and i'm gonna get the lotion because that just smells so good i don't really know why i didn't just pick it up i was trying to be cheap which is something that i always do like in the moment i'll be like eh, i don't really want to spend that money or whatever and then i'll end up getting home and i'm like dang i should have just got it like why do i do that to myself all right that's all the hygiene products that i have let me know some recommendations down below oh i forgot to tell y'all i was gonna pick up some dr bonnets and i saw on like other people's videos that people were commenting about how they have a bunch of like writing on the product and stuff so i looked into it because i didn't want to just like make a decision and like not really know what i was talking about but i looked into it a little bit i looked into it a little bit and they said that the owner or the guy that created the brand he was traumatized by the holocaust or something so he was like a little crazy in the head so a lot of his scribble is a bunch of stuff from christian faith and stuff from Jewish the Jewish faith and stuff like that like they mix it in I have to find an article but yeah I don't know if I'm gonna be using that product I don't know I might still use it I just have to look into it a little bit more I just was kind of caught off guard when people were like mentioning that in the comment section of that video so but that's all for today thank you guys so much for coming along with me I really appreciate it having y'all company so thank you guys don't forget to comment like subscribe y'all know y'all know the deal thank you